this is Tracy Una Wagner with Versatile Inspirations and the Lightworkers and Earth Angels Academy and Study Hall. And this is your weekly energy foresight for January 10th through the 16th. This month, I have been working with the Shadowscapes Tarot deck, and that is by Stephanie Pui Mun Law and Barbara Moore. For this week, January 10th through the 16th, Monday through Sunday, the card that came through is the Five of Wands. And the message from the Five of Wands is, from first glances at this card, you see a lot of chaos and different things happening all at once. But all that is really occurring is a diff first scene with foxes, a rabbit, and a man moving in different directions. This week, there may be times when it looks like utter madness is happening around you. Egos may be rising from multiple individuals for numerous reasons that create a hostile atmosphere. Grab your wand and give it a fresh swish to clear the air and then get everyone going in the same direction. Through the magical art of communication. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. So I know this card looks like utter chaos. I know it feels maybe at times this week like utter chaos is happening around you, but be aware that you have the ability to change the atmosphere around you and as quick as a wink. So just know that you are able to tap into your inner guidance system and be able to write the direction of what's happening around you. Remember also that how you perceive things and how you react to things really should tap into that idea of mindfulness. Be mindful of the energy going on around you and you'll be able to tap in intuitively and really figure out what's needed. Whether that's at work or at home or maybe just out in public shopping or whatever, there may be times that it feels like just complete chaos is happening all around you, just, just madness happening. And at this time, what we're being called to do is bring in the light. That is That was what really stood out to me when, as we transition to, with this being a six year, it's all about that heart. It's all about those things that reside in that heart chakra. Think about those words that are associated with your heart and with having heart. Think of, think of those things. People, some people are just starting to wake up to, um, spirit and to, uh, more of that high vibe. And for some, it's very scary. For you, you may have been going down this road for several years now. So you are used to change. You're used to that, that feeling of transformation, of evolution, of rising higher in that vibe. But for many, it's new and it's scary. And so for you, just bringing forth the light through you is going to be so beneficial for so many. You may not even know how much benefit that you are creating for the overall atmosphere and the overall look of humanity. You may have no idea, but just know that your light is shining through so many layers of darkness that it is sometimes mind-boggling. So just know that when we have that, that, just that moment of mindfulness for the chaos that feels like it's happening around us, it's just like Mercury retrograde. I always see it in that light, that it just looks like Mercury retrograde is retrograding or going backwards. It just looks like it. It really isn't. But we perceive it that way. And it's just like you seeing through the dark chaos madness that is around you and just focusing on that light from within, that mindfulness moment that you can create for not only you, but those around you. And as a number six, we're being called to be of service, to be of service in bringing through this light. That was my, that was my, not word, but 
my idea for this year is bringing through the light, allowing the lightness to shine forth. It's very easy to go down rabbit holes of darkness. It's very easy to do that, especially when we're here on this physical manifestation in this physical manifestation on this earth plane, it's easy to go down um, that material, maybe egoistic, materialistic um, darkness, instead of bringing forth that light and shining forth the light of truth, that light of spirit, which is limitless and eternal, unconditional love. And that's what's being asked of us this year. Um, just to shine forth that light. I think we're going to have a magical, wonderful, beautiful year. And it all begins with us, with you. All right. So for midweek and end week, I decided to go with the energy oracle cards. And that is by Sandra Ann Taylor. And the first card that came through for midweek. That is Monday through Thursday. The 10th through the 13th is goddess of the moon. And to me, the goddess of the moon just really represents us using our intuition, working with that intuitive, beautiful, feminine spirit that is within each and every one of us. Being able to just be mindful Look at that beautiful light from Luna, that beautiful light that comes out of the darkness. There may be clouds, but once the clouds start dissipating, what you're left with is these glorious, beautiful droplets of stars and this gorgeous, beautiful moon shining forth, this light out of the darkness. It is amazing how much light can be shown down. It, we think we're in total darkness at night, but we're not. We have that light of the moon, especially on full moons. Oh my gosh. Um, just depending on where you're at and you can see the magnificence of Luna and all her gorgeous rays. It's amazing how much light comes from that. So much so that it can change the tides. Isn't that just so interesting that something that is way out in outer space way out in the cosmos and it can control our waves. That's how powerful Luna's rays are. That's how powerful your intuitive, beautiful, unconditional love, that ray that shines forth from you occurs as well. You shine forth and allow that light to shine through darkness. And so you may find that at the beginning of this week, we really have to tap into our intuition, tap into that mindfulness, maybe reach out to the goddess of the moon and tap into her energy as well and be able to shine your light forth brightly for all to see, for all to be enveloped. Once your light envelops others, their darkness is less intense. You've shined that light around them. It's, so it is your being of service. It is a wonderful act of kindness, just a random act of kindness that you can do so quickly and easily, even though sometimes the chaos and madness may seem overpowering and overwhelming, but just know you have the ability to react or not to react to any situation. And if we react with loving kindness by sending forth our light, how easy is that? Just be, just be mindful of what's happening around you and how you can maybe change the perception and the perspective of others and yourself by just being mindful. All right, for end week, and that is Thursday through Sunday or the 13th through the 16th, the card that came through is the thinking man. So this is an interesting card to me. This, to me, has a couple of different um, scenarios around it. With a thinking man, it could be that a man comes into your life that is there to help guide and teach you. 
Now, what I've found interesting is it may not be a physical manifestation. It may not be a person here on earth. It may not be that. Recently, I had an, an issue where I actually, the last couple days before the new year, I got a black eye. And um, at the time that it happened, it was very um, jarring. There was blood and um, a lot of it. <laughs> and, and my eyes started swelling up and um, I, we weren't sure if I was going to have to go to the doctor or not. And in that moment, the image of one of my healing spirit guides came through just, I mean, like just in my mind's eye, just right then. And once I was able to kind of calm myself and calm the situation because it was utter madness at that time, the words that came through from my beautiful, wonderful spirit guide, who is a man actually, kind of looks like Abraham Lincoln, like the old doctors that wore tap, top hats and um, those black and white coats and stuff like that. That's how he looks. But he very clearly told me, use Reiki. And so I did. I, I sat quietly, put my hand over my eye, and um, just started doing Reiki on myself. And even though it kept feeling like my eye was getting bigger and bigger and bigger, I was able to put myself in a calmer state by using Reiki. The next morning I woke up and even though it was still black and blue, it, the swelling had gone down. It didn't look as bad. I was really surprised. It looked pretty bad the night before, but through the night, my perspective had switched. My perspective had shifted. And so I was able to rest and I was able to allow healing to occur. So my thinking man came through for me in that moment. So I was able to um, do what I needed to do. Now for you, a thinking man may be a spirit guide, or it may be a physical person that comes to you that has something in order for you to glean, a golden nugget, something that you can use, some wisdom, some, some training, some classes or courses, or just an idea, just something for you. So just be open to this male influence. It could be a female that has more of a masculine sense about her at the time that she's speaking to you. There's so many different ways that this comes through. That's why this card is so interesting to me because it can come through as so many different things. For you, it may be an actual person that comes through for you to help you maybe even be able to clear some chaos. So just be open to this male influence that comes through that can help you maybe be dispel the feelings of utter chaos this week. All right. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I so appreciate it. And I truly apologize for last week's tech issues. The little gremlins came through and really messed with my <laughs> with my tech. I couldn't get anything to work, even though I tested and tested and tested some more. It worked beautifully up until the time that I was supposed to do it. So because of that, I decided to move it to tomorrow, which is Tuesday, January 11th at 11 o'clock. So lots of 11s, 1, 11 at 11. <laughs> So lots of ones, beautiful angel numbers. And for all of you who made it, thank you so much for working with me and trying to battle through that. I'm so sorry I wasn't able to do it, but we've got some wonderful things to do tomorrow, January 11th at 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. If you liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate that as well. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the fifth annual tarot planning party, as well as next Monday for our new reading of the week. As always, I'm sending you and yours love, light, and eternal blessings. Take care.